CFRC's 11th Annual Funding Drive, our annual honor fundraising campaign, starts on Friday, February the 5th and runs until Valentine's Day, February the 14th. We are hoping to raise $25,000 to support Kingston's only campus community radio station, a volunteer-powered nonprofit serving independent and alternative music, news, views and culture to Kingston and community uh, since 1922. Before we play it, so this is called Dear John, the next one, and I wrote it after reading uh, The Lennon Letters. And it's just this book comprised of letters John Lennon sent to various We people. have a mandate from uh, CRTC to support new and community music, uh, non-mainstream, non-commercial. And we, we actually have to fill out log sheets uh, where we give the proportions of those. It's a requirement uh, of our uh, maintaining a license. But I think it has a great value because uh, media is getting, I think, more centralized, more mainstream. The internet is, uh, um, it's harder for musicians, I think, to break in. And this provides a way for uh, musicians to get on the air and uh, to get their careers going. Um, and uh, it's a, an outlet. This is uh, community radio and TV, such as Kojiko, uh, are great ways of getting uh, Kingston and area people out there and heard about and getting them to play live. I go crawling down the avenue. No, there's no CFRC is Canada's oldest campus-based broadcaster. Students began making radio at Queen's in 1922 with a successful wireless broadcast test of a summary of a Gales football game. The following year, we got an experimental license from the Canadian government and the broadcast continued with some live football coverage. And within a few years, we were uh, up and running as a radio station. Up until 1990, CFRC actually operated an AM and an FM station in the Kingston community and since uh, the fall of 1990 we've been at 101.9 on the FM dial in full stereo. Kingston is a great area for music. There's lots of musicians. Uh, there's stuff going on every night of the week if you look for it. RCHA Club, uh, the Blues Society events are on there, Music Key Cafe, the events at the mansion, uh, the Toucan, all these places are, are great outlets for local musicians and this you can go out seven nights a week and hear somebody and uh, CFRC is also not strictly a music station it's also a spoken word news sports and, and things and we are we have a, we run just a few ads that help with our budget but uh, you can listen to the station for 30, 45 minutes without hearing any ads at all, and I think that's a great advantage. We're also uh, providing public access, much like Kojiko Cable, so that people who are in the community who are passionate uh, about music or cultural or social issues and have, uh, have ideas and knowledge that they want to share can have the opportunity to do that through this media platform. Okay, this is a six-minute song. Okay, are you introing it or...? Uh, no, I'm just going to flip to it. Okay. CFRC has uh, four full-time staff members supporting about 300 volunteers from uh, the Queens and Kingston communities. We provide free broadcast uh, skills training and experience to anyone who's interested to come out and learn. Uh, and then those volunteers are able to propose what kinds of programming they want to hear on the air, so long as it provides a complement or an alternative to what can be heard elsewhere on the FM dial in the Kingston area, and so long as it supports our mission to empower and celebrate the diversity of our communities. This station has, I believe, a couple hundred volunteers in here and many of them get their broadcast training, their first broadcast training experiences in stations like this, and there's others throughout the nation. And uh, Sheila Rogers and, and uh, people uh, came through here, and this was their first break, and this is where uh, many people go on here, and they go to Algonquin, or they go to Ryerson later on, and their first start was here at, say, 19 years old or 20 years old, getting their first uh, experiences and access to the equipment. Uh, we, this is a brand new, um, console here in, in this control room, uh, the main area we have in here. There's about half a dozen different uh, studios, broadcast rooms and whatnot and people get uh, to experience everything from using Zoom recording devices to uh, how to operate the, 
the faders, and uh, um, we have a capability of broadcasting reel to reel, I think, too, cassette. Uh, we still uh, also have a library of vinyl and CD uh, material that's pr quite extensive. We have a whole pile of amazing live programming happening as well as a ton of special community events. So if you go to our website at cfrc.ca, you can find out all about the events that we have lined up in the Kingston area, from uh, music concerts and dance parties to film screenings and even a bingo night. And on the air, all of our programming this week will be presented uh, live to air from the broadcasters in real time so that you can get uh, up to the minute updates about how the campaign's going. And our hosts are bringing in their friends, special guests, beloved artists to join them. So you can expect a lot of interesting discussions on the air as well as live performances this week. I can make you happy, me.